I wouldn't describe it as a sector. Ten years ago, the market was more or less characterized by student dorms, non-profit organization run, church-related, or the so-called Studentenwerke, which is the, the, the body dealing with loan applications, with the canteens on the universities, and they provide around 200,000 beds, and they did so 10 years ago. And uh, I think in these days, Felix, we were starting to think about whether this could be a business Absolutely. To, 2006, to, 2007, yeah. to enter. Yeah. And uh, those who then started had to face the turbulences in the financial markets 2009, 2010, into 2011. But uh, it, I think it's fantastic to see uh, which speed we have gained on the continent, not only in Germany, in the last few years. And if you read the headlines in the last days of uh, who's doing what in Germany, still in the UK, in the Netherlands, it's quite obvious that student housing as an asset class has gained a lot of attraction and has gained uh, a certain level of seriousness in the view of investors. Um, what we try to do is what we have learned in the US and in the UK to try to apply that to the continent. So what amount of amenities can you uh, bring to projects on the continent? There uh, seems to be more focus on uh, more cost efficient projects for people on the continent. But strange enough, the projects we have have a lot of amenities and there are, and also TSA Student Hotel actually is on the high side of it. And the occupancy is really, really high. For So there seems to be a disparity in what people say they want and actually what they are doing. So that's really interesting to find out. And actually we are trying to to, to push to see what you can add and what you can try and where it will stop. But so far we haven't found that stop yet. I mean, 2005, we actually finished a, a building in London, which was then also used as student housing. And then we looked at our sort of home market um, and, and developed the idea, looked at you know, the market dynamics. Um, and then uh, about four years later, started to develop the first buildings. Um, we found quite a lot of differences between the UK and the German market. One is, for example, price sensitivity. So in the UK, the higher price segment is, is, is larger than in Germany. Um, and yeah, since about uh, six years, we, we have accumulated more and more units. Um, and we see it also developing in a direction like in the UK, but I think there's big differences and different players with different strategies will, will establish themselves. Yeah.